So yeah, this happened this weekend. <laughs> um, if you don't know what we're looking at, this is our front door. And we used to have a big step right here and we demolished it. These are like the decorative bricks that went around the front. And we basically, we, Anthony, took a sledgehammer, cut it all up. We loaded it into a truck that we brought from my grandpa. And Anthony is currently dumping it in a dumpster. Good afternoon, you guys. It has been a busy day so far. This morning we had a soccer games for both boys. I took maybe a clip or two of each game, so I'll input that here. Then after that, Anthony mowed. Our grass needed it so bad we didn't get to it last weekend because we've been so busy. It's like our first weekend in like a month or over a month. Um, and it's like 80, it feels so good outside. But anyway, Anthony mowed, desperately needed it. And we've been um, undertaking this huge project. So I don't even think I've been talking about it, but we have had some leakage in our basement. Basically anytime it rains and it's cold out, water seeps through the ceiling of our basement through a light can and yeah i like it and it's been leaking it only does it when it's cold it's very random so anyway at first we thought it was the siding on the front of our house so anthony's dad came a couple months ago we took off all the front siding and put flashing down which is supposed to like protect the house thought that worked and then realized that we had more leakage so then we realized we need to get under the cement step so anthony took a sledgehammer took him like two days and cut it all up and realized that yeah the people who built this house never put down like flashing which is like this just protective barrier between the house and the concrete so that every time it rained rain would get behind the concrete step and then it would seep down into our house so i'll show you guys so under here this is like i think anthony said it's like a two by four and it has mostly rotted away because there's been so much water that has gotten into our house so yay for us so our plan is to take some of the siding off and put down flashing and we're gonna put down i think a new two by four in front of this one and flashing to protect it so that we won't have any more problems and then anthony's dad thank goodness for him is knowledgeable and knows how to pour cement so he's gonna come and we're gonna pour a new step next weekend i say we but i have like no part in all this all i am doing is cleaning up rock and helping anthony where i can he has done like 100 percent of the work and then his dad is gonna come and next weekend like i said and they're gonna fix it so saving us a lot of money because we're not hiring professionals actually we did reach out to a lot of professionals when we first saw the leakage we had I don't even know four or five guys come by and basically like nobody wanted to touch this nobody wanted to fix it for us so we're doing it ourselves so anyway that's what we've been doing um this weekend we are cleaning all this up and then monday two days from now we're actually gonna get mulch and we're gonna mulch our whole house and yeah, so it's just project after project now that it's spring and trying to get our house looking nice. So that is what is going on this weekend. Um, I'll keep you guys updated. All right, it's the next day. And Anthony and Porter are playing soccer together. Look at that freshly mowed backyard. You can see the lines in it. It looks so good. It's another 80 degree day. It's 79. It's going to be 82. So beautiful. <laughs> Anthony worked so hard yesterday. He literally worked from like one o'clock until like eight o'clock at night. 
just constantly doing stuff. We need to do one more run. We, Anthony needs to do one more run to Lowe's to pick up 11 more bags. We're getting 30 bags of concrete. I guess that's how much we need. Hopefully, hopefully we don't need more. I think Anthony yeah, said they're only like $4 a bag, so that's not too bad. So we're trying to do it with all the prep this weekend so that by the time next weekend comes and Anthony's dad comes, we have it all ready to go and they can just bust it out. So yeah, Anthony's gotta do that. And then I have him checked in. We just do great clips for him for haircuts because they're cheap and there's one like five minutes away from here. So he's gonna go do that in about an hour. And then um, I'm really hoping that we can get a family walk in. I would really like that. We try to get in one in at least once a week, um, just with how the weather's been so up and down, we've only been able to do once a week. I really hope we can do it today. Um, the boys have really been wanting to go to a park, but it just kind of depends on how long this all takes. I also need to go and switch back the cars and get my minivan back. So it's just kind of all over the place. So I guess we'll see. I just put Avery down for a nap. So she's sleeping, Grayson's downstairs. I think he's building magnet tiles. He's been getting really creative with this. Actually, side note, I wanna show you guys Grayson's drawings. So he's been really into Dog Man lately. Um, it's the same author that made Captain Underpants when I was younger. Now he makes Dog Man and Cat Kid. And Gray loves the books. And in the back of the books, they show you like how to draw characters. So Grayson's been using that to draw and he is so cute. He's like a little artist, way more artistic than I am. Okay, so this he says is a werewolf. <laughs> And then this, Lil PD is this, the cat, and then Barky McTree face. I guess that's a character from his book. And then this one looks like Dog Man, and I'm not quite sure what that is. And there's PD. And then he also did this one. So he's becoming quite the artist. Looking at these drawings, it just makes him look so much older to me. Like, a baby doesn't make drawings like this. Like, he's like a kid. So it makes me sad, but he has really been enjoying drawing lately. And I love to see it because it's creative. And I don't see that a lot here because Anthony and I are not artistic at all. So anyway, I'm hoping that we will go to the park um, we grilled for the first time this year, I want to say. We made, uh, I actually did it. <laughs> we made hamburgers on the grill. We don't, even, we don't even have hot dogs or hot dog buns. Like it's been that long. So I'm going to get some at the store later today. And then that way we can grill out. And I love grilling because it's such an easy thing to do. And it's like such a summer thing to do. So I'm also looking forward to like watermelons to come on sale and come into the store. Um, because all, everyone in my family, except for Anthony, loves watermelon. I love it and the boys love it. I don't know that Avery has ever had watermelon. Maybe she has at a party or so, but I bet she would like it too. So as soon as that goes on sale, I will definitely buy one of those. I usually get those um, a few times every summer. They're kind of um, a lot and we don't usually go through that much but the boys are getting older so maybe we will this year I guess we'll see but yeah it's, I took Avery on a walk earlier today I should have vlogged it but I didn't because like neighbors were out but it was just so peaceful like walking with Avery pretending I had only one kid I asked the boys to join me but they just wanted to stay home and watch Anthony play Minecraft so I just took Avery and we went on a walk she loves walk she didn't make a peep the whole time which was so sweet and it was just so peaceful, like walking around, seeing people working on their yard, enjoying the nice weather. Um, so it just makes me really excited for summer. It seems like the weather is gonna stay warm, maybe not this warm in the 80s, but staying like at least in the 70s, if not warmer. So that makes me very excited. Yesterday I went ahead and like changed over the clothes. Um, I turned all the winter clothes into summer clothes and have those already because I think I think the warm weather is here to stay and I'm tired of the cold clothes. I'm tired of the cold weather. So very excited um, for the warmth. London? That is right. What's the capital of the United States? Nope. Uh, what is it? Washington, D.C. Oh, Washington. How do you know the capital of France and England but you don't <laughs> know the capital of your own country? I know all of them. What's the capital of... 
Mexico. Mexico. Avery is so chill. I think she likes that. It's pretty easy. Um. Made it to the park and it's dead. I don't know where all the kids are. Porter's climbing. We threw some sticks into the pond. And now we're playing. Porter, come down the slide, buddy. Come on. Let's see how fast you go. Right here. Right back here. <laughs> 